All right. Well, I'm at a little school where I found uh, see a sil small silver uh, coin ring and a silver sterling spoon, and I've managed to pick up uh, over here two. This is where I found my uh, my coin spill. Three quarters. Two of them were 1964. And one I think was 65 or 7. And I haven't, been, I mean, it just drives me crazy that I haven't been able to pick up a silver coin in that little field over there. I've managed to pick up, like I said, about 25 wheat pennies from the school so far until right now. Bingo, bingo, bingo. I just came over here and uh, started to detect, and boom, boom, high tone. I like that boom boom. I like the boom boom high tone. So we've got uh, let's see. I pulled 1965 or 64s out of here. What do we got here? 1963. All right. Oh, so silver number three from this school. See if I can pick up some more along here. Well, hey everybody, good morning. Well, I'm out here, I'm kind of breaking one of my rules a little bit. Um, this is a 1958 school. I've been here once before, I think with the AT Pro, I'm not 100% sure, but I didn't find nothing. It had been picked clean. So I decided to come back because I have to be in this neighborhood um, in a couple hours. And I thought, well, you know, I'll try that school again, 1958. It um, it doesn't mean that it's not going to have silver, definitely. I, I haven't even looked at this. Um, I'm just uh, hoping it's silver. Um, it wasn't too deep. It was probably four inches. But... Oh, it's a, uh, it's a, a Canadian. I have another one of these. My other one that I have is 1910. Ha! What's that say? That'd be freaky weird if that's 1910. Is that the only year they made these things? Great. I just made it all muddy. Oh, it goes on the pants. Anyways, this is silver. Uh, my other one was 1910, and it was silver. And now I just lost it somewhere in the grass. Oh, there it is. After I dried it off, I dropped it in the water again, the, the grass. Anyways, it's like a, I don't know, King Rex or something like that, or I don't know their coins. So, weird, huh? It is 1910, right? 1916, 1910. I thought, gosh, it must be the only year they made these. Because I've I seen another one of these on YouTube. So, oh, it's a, it's a Canadian dime. Uh, 1910. I, I mean, it's weird. I have two of these. I'll have to put them on video. That's silver. Most awesome. This school is 1958. The houses behind me seem to be about 1960s. But... All along uh, this one main road here, this is a main road, uh, there's a lot of older homes. So I'm kind of keeping to this side here and uh, was wanting to hit this big tree and and uh, hopefully I'll find more of this stuff. I don't care if it's Canadian as long as it's silver. Well, I'm hunting with Deep Silver Detector Man Dave, and I have no idea where he was. Uh, we're in a school, uh, this is a 1913 school, and um, this is a very old street right here, and there's a bus stop right here that I bet you, the bus stops never really change much. So that bus stop has probably been there, there's probably a lot of 
garbage, and I bet you there's a lot of deep silver over there. So he was heading over in that direction, and then he went back, and I think he was going to hit the front of the school. Uh, yesterday he had some really good luck at a different school. He had a, a walker and a dime in the same hole. Damn him. So anyways, I'm over here at the other end of the uh, field uh, by the baseball diamond. Surprising uh, low, uh, shallow tone. I am very surprised. It's a merc. Ha ha ha. I was really surprised to see a merc come out of here, or a dime, or a silver dime, because it was actually so shallow. And then right by the baseball diamond, where you'd think everybody and their uncle would probably come and hit, right? I know Deep Silver Detector likes to hit around the back of the baseball, the backstops. So um, this is a, a good sign. Silver number one for today, uh, silver number two for the weekend.